Look who's here. Remember me? You need to move out of my way. I put myself in your way, buddy. On purpose. Notice anything interesting? No witnesses. No witnesses means no rules. No more shortcuts. No more special treatment. You're just going to be another dead failure on Korriban. No! Hold up! Hold up! Look, I was wrong. What they're saying about you? Totally true. So... strong. I don't want to die. Ask for no mercy and expect none. Die like a Sith. I failed you, Vemrin. We must speak quickly, Acolyte. There isn't much time. I may have made a slight miscalculation. The beast of Mark Aragnos was a great source of dark energy here on Korriban. When it was slain, there was a tremor in the Force. Darth Barris felt that tremor and has become aware of you. He demands an audience. Good. I've been waiting for this for a long time. After meeting him, you may find yourself wishing you had more time to prepare. Barris is a serious man, but a master of deception. Everything he does and says is calculated. He will attempt to trip you up, test your nature, get to the heart of who you are. Always take him seriously. And I mean always. I can handle Darth Barris. Barris is usually the one doing the handling. We might not speak again, Acolyte. You're the best chance of stopping Vemrin. If you fail, I doubt there will be another strong enough. Good luck. Meet Darth Barris in his chambers, and hurry. He won't take kindly to waiting. I'm Atsy for some action. You there? Are you the big shot they're all talking about? The one who's been personally summoned by Darth Barris himself? News sure does travel fast. Please pardon my over-eager friend. It's just that we've heard so much about you. And we want to get in good with you. Tino? What my blunt partner here means is that if you need anything or anyone, say, dealt with, we'd like you to consider us. She's talking about Femrin. We'll kill him for you. I'm sorry. I should have had Tino muzzled. <laughs> so, what do you say? We know Vemrin tried to have you killed. Would you like him eliminated? I'm preserving the pleasure for myself. Far be it for us to rob you of such an experience, but consider this. There are rules. Acolytes are not to openly kill one another. Everyone knows of your rivalry. If you kill him, the Lords will presume your guilt. But if Vemrin croaks while you get an alibi, people might be suspicious, but they won't be able to pin it on you. See? I wouldn't be upset if Vemrin turns up dead. Say no more. Go about your business. We'll handle this with utter discretion. What does this mean, Fine? It means Vemrin is a dead man, and we're going to have the most potent of allies. Most of you will not return from this endeavor. If you die, you will be forgotten. If you give up, you will be killed. No, out of my sight. I've got a bad feeling about this. You should. 
This is the end of the line for you, Clemrel. Just make sure you stay out of my way. Look here, Vimran. I see the upstart, but no sign of Douglas. Clemrel, Vimran, you have been dismissed. Yes, Master. I underestimated you by sending Dolgus. It will not happen again. Are you having trouble with Acolyte Vemran, supplicant? If he insists on getting in my face like that, he's gonna have trouble with me. He has been hardened into a lethal machine. Vemran has paid his dues. He's fought a deck stacked against him to get here. You, on the other hand, let me get a closer look at you. Yes, as I suspected. Overseer Tremel has done you and this academy a great disservice. Your Warblade came early. Prisoners flown in for your convenience. Even a beast here on Korriban instead of off-world in the wild. The pacing of the trials is deliberate. Only full immersion over time produces results. Your mind is soft, unhoned, undisciplined. I disagree, emphatically. The first month of trials should be dedicated to philosophy, conceptual tactics, understanding of the Sith Code. Recite the Sith Code for me, Acolyte, and explain its meaning in battle, war, and politics. I don't recall learning a Sith code, my lord. Your ability is undeniable, but your readiness and your understanding of the Sith way is woefully lacking. I am your master now. Tremel was becoming lax before you ever arrived. His unwillingness to adapt to the evolving Sith paradigm has become a liability. These are the actions of a traitor. Traitors are executed. I grant you immunity from punishment. Kill Tremel and bring back his hand as proof. As you decree, my lord. Now, leave. I'm sure Tremel is still in his chambers. Don't return until you've killed him. I didn't expect to see you again so soon. Has Barris sent you back to me? I'm here to kill you. Then I have been outplayed. Barris has the authority, but I did not think he would do something this overt. Either I die, or he forces me to kill you, and to destroy my own plan. A master stroke. Very well. You have your orders, Acolyte. Know that it gives me no pleasure to kill you. What makes you so sure you're going to kill me? You're strong, Acolyte, as strong as any I've seen come through the Academy. But you're not Sith yet. I'll try to make your end quick and painless. It's the least I can do. <laughs> Amazed. I knew you were strong in the Force, but not like this. You're more than ready to challenge Vemrin. Barris won't be able to deny that now. He'll have the satisfaction of my death. But I die knowing my success. Go ahead. End this. You fought bravely, Overseer. Die with your head held high. Farewell, Acolyte. The purity of the Sith lies with you. this. 
the Acolyte returns, and with a bloodied weapon. I assume this means Tremel is no more. Give me his hand. Here, yeah, take this one ring as a memento. Remembering the past can strengthen resolve and embolden the spirit. I am impressed you had the fortitude to destroy him. You know he thought of you as family. How did it feel to betray him? I did what was called for. You mask your feelings well, as long as you don't suppress them. You have taken your first step to understanding the Sith Code. Peace is a lie. There is only passion. Through passion, we gain strength. Through strength, we gain power. Through power, we gain victory, and through victory, our chains are broken. The Force shall set us free. By embracing the cold and destroying Tremel, you have freed yourself from his shackles and escaped his fate. You've made your point. I understand. That's more like it. I had a feeling you'd be a fast learner. Now, there are sacred ruins in the tomb of Tulak Horde. The ancient inscriptions that once adorned the walls of each ruin lie in pieces. You will venture through the entire tomb, search all of the ruins, and bring me a shard from each of these inscriptions. You will do this, or you will die. Vemran and my other acolytes have already been sent. There are no rules regarding how they secure the shards, and they will stop at nothing. Fight your way through the tomb of Tulak Horde in the Valley of the Dark Lords, and bring me the shards from each of the ruined shrines.
You did it, didn't you? You got the shards from the tomb, and you're on your way back to Lord Barris. Are you here to congratulate me? I'll take that as a yes. Stop! I, I'm sorry. I made a mistake. I tried to get through the tomb, but there were just too many Shyrak. I barely escaped. I figured better to ambush you and take your shards. But I see that's just as futile. Vemran is already inside with Barris. All the other acolytes died. You were my only chance. Now, I'm doomed. I'll never become Sith. Unless I return with the shards, Barris will have me killed. I'll save Barris the trouble of listening to your whimpering. Die! have been dashed, Vemran. Appearances can be deceptive. Excuse Vemran, supplicant. He didn't take kindly to you turning those young acolytes on him, even though they were only untrained novices. I hope he's not holding his breath for an apology. A blowhard like him might suffocate. The tension is thick between you two, a great source of emotion to feed on. You both stand on the precipice of becoming Sith. But only one of you will have the opportunity to claim a special lightsaber and serve as my apprentice. I thought it would be you, Vemran, but I've changed my mind. What? I've done everything you've asked. Better than any of the others. The honor should be mine. This is as it should be. Get used to being in my shadow. Today, Vemran is every bit your equal. But the Force is stronger with you, Acolyte. And there is a power sleeping within you. It was a simple decision. Now, Vemran, go wait in my antechamber for your instructions. This instant! Now, I hope you fathom how fortunate you are to be singled out. If you become my apprentice, the galaxy will bend before you. You honor me. The lightsaber you will seek is old and powerful. It is housed in a forbidden cavern in the tomb of Nagasado, where few Sith have ever set foot. Almost no one knows how to find the secret entrance. But there is a Twi'lek in the holding pens who was caught breaking in there. I hear she is quite willful. Take her and make her show you the entrance to the Forbidden Cave. I will take care of that. Other acolytes seeking to complete their trials are sent to the tomb, where Academy laws are waived. They will try to murder you. This test will determine if you become Sith. So bolster yourself. To set foot in the tomb of Nagasadao is to breathe in death itself. Worthless. Braggarts, children, slaves. Not even a pure blood among them. Sith blood's not everything. Lord Thrain dislikes my apprentice's privileged attitude. Then he will never be Sith. A pity. He seemed strong. Not strong enough for the tombs. I have seen to that. Rest, will ya? I'm getting my fill of fun while I still can, slave. Uh, as if on cue, look who's back. Word is you might become Lord Barris's apprentice. Uh, nice work if you can get it. So, I hear you'll be relieving me of this Twi'lek. She's a pain in the neck. Ha! <laughs> who's a pain in the neck? I'm the one wearing a shock collar. Huh. Consider that a going away present, Twi'lek. 
Seems you might be useful for something after all. This bruiser is taking you into the tomb where we caught you. None of you can figure out how to activate the tomb statues to open the Forbidden Cavern, huh? You got some kind of business in that secret Sith chamber, do you? My business is none of yours. Here, kid. Take the shock control color. I'll set it to a high level. Use it enough, she'll show you the back door to her mother's house. I suppose I can play tomb tour guide. A lot of work went into cracking that nut. But I did it once. I can do it again. So we're clear. I'm officially on strike when it comes to domestic duties. Well, let's give this higher setting a test run. Okay, that's worse. Stop! I'll take you to the unlocking points throughout the tomb, and then open the secret door for you. Just lead the way. All better. Just like I left it, this place is still ultra creepy.
This is it. The secret entrance to the hidden cavern is in here. Just let me get my bearings. Take your time, slave. Just have the entrance uncovered by the time I finish killing your new master. Can't say I'm surprised to see you, Vemrin. You're remarkably predictable. My passions run deeper than yours. I am the true essence of what it is to be Sith. My legacy has suffered long enough. After today, you will be forgotten. It ends here and now. Barriss's apprentice was my destiny. Did I come this far and overcome such adversity, only to be proven unworthy? I have waited a long time to put you in your place. Consider this. Killing you was easy. Then do it. Finish me. Wow. Nice work. Just find the Forbidden Cavern. I already have. See? The secret entrance is right here. Bite that tongue of yours, slave. Consider it bitten.
places of higher learning go, this one has got to be the scariest. My father was a staunch traditionalist, and he was especially hard on me. But he's my blood. Did you think you could kill him and get away with it? Um, uh, refresh my memory. Uh, I kill many people's fathers. You seek to add insult to injury? I'm Eskla Greiton. My father was Overseer Tremel. Remember killing him? Well, I don't know, but I am in possession of his ring. See? I'm going to rip that ring from your steaming corpse! I give it to you willingly, Eskela. Here. Great. You think that's going to placate me? You'll rue the day you took his life. Attack! That's always been the trick. <laughs> I am beside myself. Not only did you get the Twi'lek to cooperate, but you completed the task and claimed the ancient lightsaber. Venran was not in my chamber as I instructed. I take it he sought to stop you and claim the ancient weapon as his own. He did. Now his carcass feeds the tomb's beasts. Bravo. I see you may indeed become one of the strongest Sith in the galaxy. Your trials are over. You are now my apprentice. I am your humble servant, Master. I bow before you. Rise, my apprentice. This is only the beginning. With you as my right hand, we shall strike fear into the Empire's enemies. I must convene with the Emperor and inform him of your progress. This shuttle pass will take you to Dromund Kos. Meet me at the Citadel there. As you decree, my lord. Take the Twi'lek slave as my gift. Do with her as you wish. If she'll be of use, by all means take her with you to Dromund Kos. <laughs> Maybe you want to take this shock collar off? You know, as a sign of thanks for my hard work on Korriban. Not that I don't enjoy the perpetual fear of electrocution. You 
will do as I say, and not ask for favors. Yeah, that's a real keen idea and all, but what do I get out of it? I gave you a chance. You are a slow learner. Ow! Forget I said anything.